So, um, so you're playing left eye. I am. Okay. So, uh, how did you really get that role? Wow. Um, well, I, I came home to New York from uh, a flight from California. Um, like, let me let me just give you a, a backdrop on, on where I am right now. Right now, you know, I'm from New York. But right now I'm by coastal I'm living between New York and California. And so when I was out in Cali, I uh, decided to go back, take, take a trip back home. And on my trip back home, my uncle, he told me, you know, about the role of Left Eye that they were going to be doing uh, the film Crazy Sexy Cool, which was untitled at the time. Um, and basically he just, he was just real straight. He was like, yo, you're not going to go out for that? And I was like, I didn't know where to start first. I didn't have an agent. Um, I barely had a management <laughs> and, um, you know, I mean, I mean, I guess God works cause I called, uh, I don't guess I know God works. Um, I called light MC light, you know, light, right Vlad? Sure. I called MC light, light called, um, Claude Brooks, who's a producer and director out in uh, California. And he knew somebody that was producing on the film. And at the time, you know, when you when you when you come in the game and people know you as an MC, people know you as a musician, you know, they don't really know, you know, your dimension. They don't know if you can act. So they didn't believe in me as an actor. They wanted to see what was up. And um, long story short, they got me into audition. It was hell getting into the first audition because I had the runaround due to Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. I got a crazy runaround. Um, I got the script, I came in, and you know, the casting agent, she looked at me and she said, I wouldn't change a thing. Sent the tape out, I read for the director, and from there, I had I did a screen test and it was history. I found out I got the role after three tries and that's pretty much the story. Was there anyone else that, that we know, you know known that was auditioning for this role? Um, there's some other people that you guys might know that auditioned for the role. Um, yeah, some other actors, young actors. Uh, I, I I can't I can't place their names right now, but it was a, um, a, a few other young actresses or actors um, that tried out for the role. Sure. Now, uh, Left Eye was a little crazy. You know, she she burned down Andre Risen's house and, and stuff like that. Um, how much of that did you have to kind of get into yourself? I mean, well, you know, I've been played by a boy before, you know, you know, you get to that boiling point where, um, that boiling point where you tie it or you feel like, you know, like this is it, that's enough, enough of the BS and, 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 and things like that. And so, you know, growing up, come on, I'm from Brooklyn, I'm from Harlem, I'm from New York City. Of course, I've seen women enraged before, whether they throwing pots or clothes or something, you know, it, it goes down when a woman, when a woman's fed up, it ain't nothing you can do about it. You know how R. Kelly say. So... I pretty much just got into the character and got into the mind frame of, of, of being in that place and revisiting that place or, or you know, letting it take me there and, and, you know, I let it happen really organically and, you know, I feel like I really, I, I touched, I touched how she, she might have felt at that time. Now, now you hung out a lot with, uh, with T-Boz and Chili to kind of get into the role, you know, and they told you a bunch of stories about Left Eye. Is that correct? Yeah, and uh, in pre-production, we um, we did some rehearsals for uh, the music, the musical aspect of the film, being music videos and live performances. And um, in the midst of rehearsals, you know, I kept getting my coattail pulled, you know, by Tion or, or by Chili. Like, hey, girl, oh my God, you do that just like her. You don't even have to change that move, cause she, ooh, that thought was a wild dancer, girl. And and you know, to whereas um. Tion was uh, a lot more disciplined and Chili was the known dancer, um, you know, from Dance with Dame and Dame uh, before she got pulled into the group. Uh, so it'll be, it'll be all types of stuff. They, they'll tell me about, you know, the way she moves, how I was really similar, but certain things I had to change a little bit in posture or, you know, um, how she would react to certain situations, you know. So it was very in in informative and it was very helpful in into uh, preparing for the role. Sure. Now, initially, Left Eye's family was was kind of concerned about you you playing the role. Were they? Did you, uh, yeah, I mean, the, I found some stuff about that. I guess her sister, Raindrop, you know, um, was a little concerned in the beginning, but then after she she saw some stuff that you were doing, she she actually liked it. 
Yeah, Rain Rain came to the, the crazy part about Rain. Rain came to set and I felt her energy before she even before I seen her. So she was there. I felt I felt energy in the room and I didn't know what it was. So when I saw her, I was like, okay, that's what it is. And she we well, we talked for a minute. I got into the scene that we were filming at the time, which was my second day of shooting. So I was a little nervous myself, to be honest. It was a club scene where I meet Andre Rosin. And, um, whew. After I got out of the scene, Rain started crying. And I said, what's wrong? And, and, and she said, nothing's wrong. It, everything's right. And that melted my heart, you know, to know that I, I pleased her sister. Because your siblings, like, that's the closest thing to you. Your parents are the closest thing to you when you know nothing else. But then once you get acquainted with your siblings, that is the closest that any family member could ever come. And for me to please her sister was just, it was, um, you know, so, so surreal. It, it, words can't even explain, you know, the honor that comes with that. Drake rapping when he raps he's one of the best dog like he says shit I've never heard before you don't like I can't go in somebody else's house and even though they let me wear their clothes and eat their food and that's not my house 